welcome back to our channel. Today, we are delving into an important topic the mumps vaccine. Mumps is a contagious viral disease that can lead to serious complications, but fortunately, we have a vaccine that can prevent it. In this video, we'll explore what mumps is, how the vaccine works, its benefits, and address some common concerns. So, let's get started. What is mumps? Mumps is caused by the mumps virus, and it primarily affects the salivary glands, leading to painful swelling of the cheeks and jaw. Other common symptoms include fever, headache, and muscle aches. While most people recover fully from mumps, it can lead to serious complications, especially in adolescents and adults, such as inflammation of the brain, encephalitis, or the testicles, or chitis, in males, which can cause fertility issues. What is mumps, MMR, vaccine? The mumps vaccine is a type of immunization designed to protect individuals from the mumps virus. It is a safe and effective preventive measure that helps the body develop immunity against the mumps virus without causing the disease itself. The vaccine contains a weakened or attenuated form of the mumps virus, which is no longer capable of causing full-blown mumps in most people. In most countries, the mumps vaccine is given as part of the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, vaccine, which also provides protection against measles and rubella. The MMR vaccine is typically administered in two doses, with the first dose given around 12 to 15 months of age and the second dose between 4 to 6 years of age. How Mumps Vaccine is Manufactured The manufacturing process of the mumps vaccine involves several steps to ensure its safety and effectiveness. Here is a general overview of how the mumps vaccine is produced. Certified Strain the first step involves obtaining an attenuated virus strain which is certified by the National Control Authority. Virus strain should be well characterized including all the necessary information, source, attenuation method, passage level etc. The virus strain used in the vaccine production should be certified to be safe to be used for human purpose. To make the vaccine safe for use, the mumps virus is attenuated, which means it is weakened or modified. Attenuation is done through a series of passages in cell cultures or through genetic engineering techniques. The goal is to create a weakened form of the virus that can still stimulate an immune response but does not cause the disease. Vaccine Production Large-scale production of the vaccine involves growing the attenuated virus in large bioreactors or cell culture systems. The virus is replicated in large quantities, and the culture is harvested. Purification the harvested culture is purified to remove impurities and unwanted substances, leaving behind primarily the mumps virus components. Vaccine formulation and packaging. The attenuated mumps virus is combined with the other components of the MMR vaccine, such as measles and rubella viruses, in specific proportions. These components are formulated with stabilizers, preservatives, and other additives to ensure vaccine stability and efficacy. The final formulation is filled into vials or syringes in a sterile environment. Quality control. Throughout the manufacturing process, rigorous quality control measures are implemented. This includes testing the vaccine for potency, purity, and safety. The final product undergoes extensive quality assurance procedures to ensure it meets regulatory standards. Distribution. After passing the quality control tests and regulatory approvals, the live attenuated MMR vaccines are packaged, labeled, and distributed to healthcare providers and vaccination programs for administration to the target population. It's important to note that the specific manufacturing process may vary between different manufacturers and vaccine types. However, all mumps vaccines undergo strict regulatory oversight to ensure their safety, efficacy, and consistency. How Mumps, MMR, Vaccine Work Mumps vaccine is given in combination with other vaccines including measles and rubella, known as the measles mumps rubella MMR, vaccine. The mumps vaccine works by stimulating the immune system to recognize and respond to the mumps virus. Here's how it works. Introduction of the vaccine. When a person receives the MMR vaccine, the vaccine introduces weakened or attenuated forms of the mumps virus into the body along with measles and rubella viruses. Activation of the immune system. The immune system recognizes the presence of the weakened virus as foreign and potentially harmful. In response, specialized immune cells, such as B cells and T cells, are activated to fight off the perceived threat. Production of antibodies. B cells produce antibodies, which are specific proteins that target the mumps virus. These antibodies circulate throughout the body, ready to neutralize the virus if encountered in the future. Formation of memory cells. 
In addition to producing antibodies, the immune system also generates memory B cells and memory T cells. These memory cells, remember, the mumps virus's structure, allowing for a faster and stronger response if the individual is exposed to the actual mumps virus in the future. Long-term immunity. The presence of memory cells means that the immune system retains the ability to recognize and eliminate the mumps virus for an extended period, often providing lifelong immunity or long-lasting protection against mumps. Preventing infection. If a vaccinated individual comes into contact with the actual mumps virus, the memory cells quickly recognize the virus and produce a rapid and robust immune response, preventing the virus from causing an infection or significantly reducing the severity of the disease. Mumps vaccine protects individuals from mumps and helps prevent its spread within communities. Widespread vaccination also contributes to herd immunity. Herd immunity plays a crucial role in controlling and eventually eradicating infectious diseases like mumps. Who require mumps, MMR, vaccination? Mumps vaccination is recommended for various age groups and individuals to protect them from the mumps virus. Generally, the following groups of people should receive the mumps vaccine. Children. Mumps vaccination is typically included as part of the routine childhood vaccination schedule in most countries. The first dose is usually administered at around 12 to 15 months of age, and the second dose is given between 4 to 6 years of age. Adolescents and young adults. If individuals have not received the two doses of the mumps vaccine during childhood, they should receive catch-up doses. Adolescents and young adults who have not been vaccinated are at increased risk of mumps infection especially in community settings such as schools and colleges. Healthcare workers. Healthcare workers are often at higher risk of exposure to infectious diseases, including mumps. Vaccination is recommended to protect them and prevent potential outbreaks in healthcare settings. College students. Given the close living quarters and interactions on college campuses, mumps can spread easily among students. Colleges and universities often require proof of vaccination before enrollment to protect students and prevent outbreaks. Travelers. Individuals planning to travel to areas where mumps is more prevalent should ensure they are up to date with their vaccinations to reduce their risk of infection and avoid spreading the disease to others. Outbreak response. During mumps outbreaks, health authorities may recommend vaccination for susceptible individuals in the affected communities to contain the spread of the virus. Individuals at high risk. People with certain medical conditions, weakened immune systems, or those who may have missed vaccinations due to specific circumstances, such as previous allergic reactions, might require individualized vaccination recommendations from healthcare providers. It's essential to follow the vaccination guidelines provided by your country's health authorities or consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate vaccination schedule for you and your family members. What are the AEFI associated with mumps, MMR, vaccination? AEFI stands for Adverse Events Following Immunization. Adverse events are any unfavorable medical occurrences that happen after receiving a vaccine, and they are closely monitored to ensure the safety of vaccines. While most mumps vaccinations are well tolerated and result in few adverse effects, some individuals may experience mild side effects. Here are the common AEFIs associated with mumps vaccination. Local Reactions Pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site are common side effects of many vaccines, including the mumps vaccine. These reactions are usually mild and resolve on their own within a few days. Fever. Low-grade fever is another common AEFI following mumps vaccination. It typically appears within a few days after receiving the vaccine and lasts for a short period. Mild rash. Some individuals may experience a mild rash after getting the mumps vaccine. This rash is usually not severe and goes away on its own without causing any significant issues. It's important to note that these side effects are generally mild and short-lived. They indicate that the body's immune system is responding to the vaccine, which is essential for developing immunity. Severe allergic reactions to vaccines, including the mumps vaccine, are very rare. Healthcare providers closely monitor patients after vaccination to quickly address any unexpected or severe adverse events. If you or someone you know experiences any concerning reactions after receiving a mumps vaccine or any other vaccination, it is crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Vaccination plays a crucial role in preventing infectious diseases and protecting public health. The benefits of vaccination in preventing mumps are far more significant than the risk of adverse events, which are usually mild and temporary. Public health authorities and healthcare professionals continuously monitor vaccine safety to ensure that vaccines are safe and effective for the population. Conclusion
Getting vaccinated against mumps is a crucial step in protecting yourself and those around you from this preventable disease. Vaccines are a cornerstone of public health, and they have been instrumental in reducing the impact of many infectious diseases worldwide. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Remember, staying informed about vaccines empowers us to make better health choices. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.